Thank you guys for giving us some of your time today. I know it's uh, difficult to get off the road when you're trying to make sales, but I, do, I appreciate you giving us the time to, to look at this. Um, like you said, I'm Alan Crawford. I'm the president of Ranger Manufacturing, and I want to tell you a little bit about our company uh, first, because I think it's important that you know where we come from and some legitimacy to our company. This isn't somebody that just walked off the street uh, and thought we could sell a medicine cabinet. If we if we chose our product, we might not choose medicine cabinets anyway. It's kind of a it's a tough market to be in, but certainly a necessary one. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the company and tell you where we come from, who we are, and then we'll talk about the product. And, and I mean, it's a medicine cabinet, so uh, we'll show you the product, what we've got, what you can do for yourselves. Uh, but first, let's talk about the, the company. If you have any questions, please stop me. and. Uh, this, this can be pretty casual, just, we'll just chat and I'll answer any questions you have. But Ranger Manufacturing is the name of the company. Jensen Medicine Cabinets is our brand of medicine cabinet. You may have heard of Jensen before. Uh, we used to be located out on the west coast in California, and so it's a very popular name in the medicine cabinet industry. Certainly very well known on the west coast, so maybe not so well known out here in this part of the country. Uh, but a but a, a national brand of medicine cabinets, so we compete very well with the Kohlers, the American Prides, uh, Zenith, RSI, all of those guys. We have a product to, to compete with them. But Ranger itself began in 1947. We've been around for a very long time. A local manufacturing company headquartered in Cleburne, Texas. That's about 20 miles south of Fort Worth, Texas. All of our facility is right there uh, in Texas. Through the 50s and the 90s, we manufactured all different kinds of products. Range hoods, fluorescent lighting, freezer, JCVAC, we're a metal manufacturing company. We got all the stamping equipment necessary to make uh, most metal uh, products. And of course, range air and range hoods was the primary product that we made all through those years. In 1995, we were acquired by Nortec, which is the parent company of Brown Newtone. So I know you've heard of Brown Newtone. That makes the hoods, bath fans, heaters, all those types of products, uh, certainly those you sell right now. Um, once that acquisition happened in 95, all that time Range Air manufactured then from, from 95 to about 2005, and beyond, we were making range hoods for Brown Newtone. We also began making bath fans for Brown Newtone. Uh, so we're a very versed manufacturer of household type products for ventilation for, for the Brown Newtone companies. Uh, in 2005, we, we manufactured bath fans. We also moved the Newtone service parts operation from Cincinnati to our location, so we were servicing all of those. So a lot of the, if you were selling hoods and bath bands for Brown, a lot of those were manufactured at our facility in Texas under the Brown Newtone name. Okay, so we have that type of history of quality manufacturing and, and production. Then the housing market crashed in 2007. Brown started a lot of consolidating of their manufacturing facilities and we moved our uh, hood manufacturing to a facility, a Brown facility in Mexico. We moved the uh, fans to China and then in 2007 and 8 time frame we started moving all these different brands of medicine cabinets that were under the Brown line to our facility in Texas. So there was the Jensen brand located in California, there was a Triangle brand up in Michigan uh, Illinois area. Aubrey was manufacturing medicine cabinets for Brown Newtone out of Illinois. We converted them all to this Brown Newtone storage solution. So maybe you've heard of that as well, where we were selling medicine cabinets under the Brown Newtone label. And then in 2014, I and another business partner purchased this business unit from Brown Newtone, and then we reintroduced 
the Jensen name. So this is kind of how the story has come together of how Brown Newton was integrated in this. Um, but basically, since January of 2014, I've been the owner and trying to live the American dream of, of company ownership. We've got a facility there that we took over the whole product line of manufacturing medicine cabinets and brought back the Jensen name because it's actually a very good brand for medicine cabinets. Any questions on that? The history there? So about the company, uh, our manufacturing capabilities, I just want you to be aware that we can do most anything, particularly with our, our core product of uh, medicine cabinets. We've got about 215,000 square feet of manufacturing space. We've got CNC uh, turret punches, multiple press brakes, multiple punch presses. Uh, we can do spot weld. We do all the painting in-house, both powder coating and e-coating. So our capability, all the assembly, receiving all of that associated with a full manufacturing facility located right there in Texas. We also support all of that with engineering. We have our own engineering in-house, product development, quality, purchasing, all of these things that support that manufacturing. There's a customer service department that a lot of you may call into from time to time. Uh, but all of that is located in Texas as well. So it's all under one roof. We're a small company. We've got about 60 employees, but that makes it very simple for us to, to answer questions, make decisions. So if you've got something unique, something out of the ordinary that you need a question answered, we can do that really quickly. Call in our customer service and within a matter of minutes that can be propelled up to me and we'll make a a decision so that's the facility I want to talk about our annual sales and kind of what's going on here I went back to 2009 which we were about range air company was about 22 million dollars in sales you can see a pretty uh, drastic declining uh, sales program there all during that housing decline and be before that but what I want you to notice here is I'll show you in just a second that Really, since 2009, the housing market has kind of recovered, but the sales have been dwindling off during this time. This was when Brown owned the, owned the company, and frankly, Brown wasn't very interested in medicine cabinets. So we lost a lot of our market share in medicine cabinets. You can see that happening here because housing is doing pretty good during this time frame. But since we bought it in 2014, we've stopped that decline, and we're starting to grow this category because... Frankly, this is the only thing we do right now. We're interested in it. We want to sell it. We want to make deals to where people come back to our product and buy it. And we're starting to see that in the market. People are interested. We've gotten to the home shows the last three years, uh, the builder show. Lots and lots of people come back and say, oh, I know Jensen. I love that product. I didn't know you guys were still available. We want to put that in our projects or we want to have that available to our customers so you'll start seeing it uh, people requesting it hopefully we're not real big in retail yet uh, we're not in the Home Depot's and Lowe's the big boxes but uh, but the builders the contractors really know our product and so I think that's a an avenue and a channel you guys can really do well in is starting to the, the the retail push because you're not going to have competition from the from the other big guys so we're going to see a slight increase uh, from the first year we took it over we'll see a pretty good in increase we're actually doing quite well for 2016 already so there's quite a bit of of improvement going on so we want to ride the uh, how do we grow our sales is we want to continue riding the housing market it is starting to improve uh, went back to 2004, there's the drastic housing market crash, and of course we're tied directly to that. Uh, but since 2009, it's been a, a pretty good increase. There's still tons of room to grow in this market. I think with the, with the economy, uh, depends on who you ask on, on how it's doing, but housing is doing fairly well, but there's still a ton of room for growth. And of course, this is new housing starts, but I think all of you know that 
associated with new housing is existing housing and remodels and as the new housing grows that means there's more movement in all of the housing market if existing houses are selling people are remodeling them I just bought a house uh, helped my kids buy a house last year and the very first thing we did was remodel the bathrooms um, that's going to drive huge opportunity for us and of course in your market it's going to be that remodel uh, category where people are wanting to redo their bathrooms and all of that's going to be tied to this so we're seeing some really good opportunity just in riding the housing market and the strength there so there's some good opportunity there we want to make sure we're competitive particularly on our on our commodity products so these items that are are great products for multifamily for uh, construction commercial construction projects apartments uh, we've got products that fit that category very very well and that's what we'll show here in a little bit it's just a plain simple uh, category in cabinet but we got really aggressive on the pricing too we noticed when we took over the company one of the things we immediately changed was the pricing in this category of cabinet um, where it, it's not a it's not a high-end cabinet so we wanted to make sure we were capturing business and so we've already lowered the pricing on a lot of these cabinets so you probably can't see all those numbers but these numbers are in your price book but this is a list of the most common type commodity products the first five or six there are, are builder series which is this plastic cabinet here it's just a, a straightforward simple cabinet plastic body reversible fixed shelf uh, cabinet it comes in either a framed or frameless with a beveled edge but just a straightforward cabinet and you can get these things for around 20 bucks uh, your price and they sell very very nicely with a good margin uh, at either retail or job quote quantities okay so that's a great opportunity for this product line in that category we've got some good pricing that I think will attract people to this to this range of cabinet our next is job quotes I don't know how many of you are reaching out to the guys that are bidding jobs but certainly we're going to get we can do better pricing than what's in your price book if the quantities are significant so when you're looking at apartment jobs that are needing 100 or even 60 or 200 send those in to us and we can quote those and make sure we're even more competitive because we want the volume really helps us be more productive in our factory so we're willing to pass that efficiencies on to the customer and let us capture that job to make sure we get it <clears throat> so what we're seeing is this is a job that just came out not too long ago uh, in Dalton Georgia but we're seeing our brand is already being specced in jobs okay you'll see from the catalog we have the widest selection of medicine cabinets if you go to American Pride or even a Kohler or Zenith products uh, they won't offer nearly as many cabinet choices as we do so if there's a specification out there and a guy saying well Jensen is not called out or specced in this job but it's an equivalent I guarantee you we'll have something that can meet that equivalent job and then we can we can quote you something that'll fit the spec and it'll be very price competitive so I think this is a great opportunity for each of you to be reaching out to these contractor type guys the small guys that may go to even a retail Wallace to, to purchase eight or ten or twelve for a small job but there's certainly a great opportunity to reach out to the construction folks for this product as well so this is just an example of, of our cabinets now just within two years we're already starting to see our name show up in specifications for, for jobs and then finally we're the manufacturer we make whatever we need to make so if again if it's a job that or you've got a customer that has something really unique that they just simply cannot find uh, come ask us and that one we do ask for a minimum quantity of around 150 pieces 
But there again, we can custom make those products, so it, and we can make those decisions in a matter of days of, can you get me a cabinet that looks like this, or it's a weird size, or they, they're doing a retrofit. We've got one uh, going on right now that they're, they're remodeling a brick. Uh, all the walls are interior brick walls, and so they have a fixed size. They can't get that size anywhere, so they came to us, and we're able to custom manufacture it because that's what we do. And it gets them a solution for that job, and then we're all happy because they got what they needed. We got a good custom job that's a real good solution to, to grow your sales and our sales together. Any you questions? This, you all sell just mirrors? And we do sell just the mirrors. My next right. slide right. was trying to speak blank mirrors. One of the things we saw pretty quickly is a lot of commercial jobs, uh, hotels, uh, multifamily obviously has a lot of just mirrors in it. They don't even call out medicine cabinets. So we have a really good, because we buy so many mirrors, we have a great source and a, and a competitive price on mirrors. So if you see jobs, it's just a wall mirror or even decorative frame. We do have framing capability. Um, we're not as uh, efficient as that yet because that's not our core competency, but if the job is right, we can do uh, decorative frame mirrors. That's hard to compete with China in decorative frame mirrors, but certainly for blank, plain wall mirrors, polished edge or beveled edge mirrors, tons and tons of opportunity. Are they individually boxed? Uh, we can do it that way, but typically it's not as cost effective to do it if you're doing a job because we can bulk pack them, band them to a pallet, and ship them to a job site. I wasn't looking at job stuff, I was looking at our inventory thing. I think we could sell mirrors in Yeah, Yeah, we, we can do I mean, that. You could put four or five in a sleeve, but they'd have to be sleeve individual yep. inside the box. Yeah, we can do that, and I think an opportunity is even bulk pack bulk in the store like you you buy a package of 20 like of them Lowe's does. like wall yeah, yeah like you go in there Lowe's. they've got a whole selection they put in a box you walk out the door with them 20 yep. bucks and there you go yeah we can do that so that's a great opportunity too i think is just putting those in the stores uh, you know a simple 20 18 by 24 and 18 by 36 mirror they can buy a handful of those and just have them sitting out they'll they'll sell great it's a great price point so I think that's a good opportunity too but yes we can we can do that or sell them individually uh, but then on top of that even jobs there's tons and tons of jobs we can drop ship those bulk pack them strap them to a pallet and ship them to a job site they truck very very well like that and uh, and then a contractor can just pull them off the pallet as well. Let's see. Think. So we're down to just looking at some of the products. Rob, you want to help? So I just brought two cat two cabinets today. It's uh, some of the ones that I think are are, are the best uh, for the for your opportunities is our metal cabinet. This is a, a standard single piece deep drawn cabinet. Uh, it's, it's basically seamless because we draw this from a single piece of, of material. So it's real, this is, this is like from the 50s, guys. It's a, it's a classic old style medicine cabinet, but we still sell the heck out of these things because they're, they're, they're a great simple product. Uh, fits between studs in the wall, it's a recess mount, very easily pops in and pops out. A lot of uh, apartment communities use these for, uh, they can just pull an old one out and put another one in, really simple, so we sell tons of these. In that situation, you can get it with the stainless steel frame. This particular one is the bevel frame, so it dresses it up a little bit, or just the polished edge. Uh, medicine mirror which makes it just pretty uh, contemporary look it's a steel body it's got a steel door back uh, piano hinge 
fastens with screws. So if they break a mirror or if they want to change out the mirror after they've had one in the wall for a while and want to put a beveled edge, if they had a polished edge or a frame or something, you can dress it up. They can buy just the, the door and put this on the cabinet so it's real simple to change them out. This one does have steel shelves uh, that are adjustable. You can see the slots on the side. Just straightforward, uh, simple steel cabinet. This one for retail I think would do very well in the stores as well. It's going to be, it's going to distributor prices around 25 bucks or so. Uh, these would sell all day long at retail for 55 to 60 bucks. Uh, and so the stores would have a great margin on it as well. And just a great, simple, straightforward product. This is our highest volume product too. To, so to think that it's maybe out of style or out of date is certainly not the case because uh, lots and lots of places are still putting these in. Because it's single piece, very easy to clean. There's no corners in this that get uh, grungy wipes out very easily and so it maintains really nicely. And then the other cabinet, this is a little 16 by 22, one of the Builder series. I held it up a while ago. This one happens to have the polished edge mirror. Um, these are just protective clips that come on when we ship them. But this one again is a plastic body cabinet, fixed shelves, same type of uh, recess mounting opportunity. It fits between the studs and the wall. It's just a plastic cabinet. This would be a uh, pretty low end, higher volume type cabinet, but again would do pretty well, I think, in a retail environment for buying it under 20 bucks, selling it for 40 or 45 bucks uh, at retail. And again, is a, is a straightforward simple cat. Any questions on what you're looking at or what we can do? Yes, sir. In the manufacturing houses, is that, I don't, I don't know your dimension, is that a workable depth for? A Absolutely, right. yeah. We sell a lot of these to manufactured housing in this particular cabinet. They like the shorter 22-inch uh, tall cabinet. Um, but yeah, it's still very doable for that. It's a little bit high for their price point if we're, but there again, that's one that if it's a manufactured housing, their volume is going to be pretty good. I'd come to us and say, let's try to capture this business with, you know, if that's a, a, a Champion Homes or a Fleetwood or somebody like that, we can give some better pricing to capture that kind of volume because then you can kind of set up a standard product flow, you can get your transportation costs down, all of that works a little bit better. So in a, that environment, I would even try to get you better pricing for those guys. Uh, what, what we see is American Pride does have a, have a really, really low end cabinet that they sell to a bunch of those guys, like probably in that, they're selling it at an eight or nine dollar range because even, even uh, the retail guys like Menards and um, I think Home Depot carries that small cabinet. It's a 16 by 20 cabinet, plastic, fixed shelf, and they're retailing that for about uh, 13 to 15 dollars, depends on where you're at. Um, that one's pretty hard for us to compete with, but our cabinet looks so much better than theirs. There's actually is, um, it's an old design. It's it is. Uh, got some warpage in it. it it just doesn't look like this and our cabin our ours with the frameless door, mirror has a steel door back whereas theirs is either a cardboard or a plastic door back so this is a little bit of an upgrade from what that cabinet is out in the market so I mean it's it's a super low end so this one has some features that at least make it look a lot it's got a full piano hinge versus uh, galvanized butt hinges on it so you got some galvanized parts in it that don't uh, really dress it up all that much as much as a painted hinge so um, it just depends on a, a lot fact is a lot of these guys like that just want 
to fill the hole in the wall and they'll want the cheapest thing. But um, but you guys are sales guys, so you can always sell up, right? Show them the features that are a little bit better. And I think uh, you can get a lot of that in the volume. Oh, uh, we do drop ship. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. We do. We can drop ship to any of your customers, um, and in your catalog or the price list in particular, you'll see a product code that has the model number, and then right after it, there will be that same model number with an X, different price because that X model is an overpacked carton. So if they're buying one or two or three pieces, typically less than five. We're going to have to ship those in the parcel environment, so FedEx ground or UPS ground, we have to overcarton those for it to ever make it to the destination without getting broken. So it's a little <coughs> bit more costly, but we can, so if you have a customer that says, yeah, I'll take one of those, be sure and sell them the X model. Every one of the items will come <coughs> as an X model, and it's simply an overpack. We take the packaging like you just saw there, Put it inside of a bigger box with foam in place all the way around it. But believe me, that's the only way we can get a piece of glass mirrored product through the UPS system without it damaging. It. So um, it is a little bit more expensive for the packaging, but it's a way that somebody can just special order uh, one. So any of the items in the catalog, the stores can special order those, um, and we'll be happy to drop ship it. Uh, from our factory to them. All right. All right.